What is up guys? Welcome back. That's right, today we're talking about the La Pavone Euro Piccola because quite a few people have asked me what I paid for the machine and what it cost to bring it back to life. So if you're not aware, this machine was purchased secondhand in very poor health. I turned the machine on and water just came out everywhere because the seals I don't think had ever been replaced. So I ordered some parts, got all that stuff on the way, got into this machine to bring it back to life just as it would have been when it was brand new. Once the machine was working and I knew it was worth investing some money into, I did a few upgrades along the way as well. So what we're gonna do is a complete breakdown of what I paid for the machine, where I got it from, how much it would cost to bring one of these back to life, and then how much it would cost to bring it up to the spec that we're at, because we have done a few upgrades that you don't necessarily need, but in my opinion, it's definitely what I would do to one of these machines. So I'd originally purchased the machine for $800 from Facebook Marketplace. Now that was delivered, and they did state that the machine was in working order, which it did work, it turned on, but there's certainly no way it was going to make a coffee. So I jumped straight online, ordered myself a gasket kit for $80. Now this is something that should be done to these machines every six to 12 months anyway, so it really wasn't a big deal. Now another thing that these machines need in my opinion is the single hole steam tip, which is only $25 and makes a huge difference to the ability of this machine. Now of course, a shower screen is a no brainer. A basic one is only $15, however I did opt for an IMS shower screen, which is $35. And another thing you may notice on all of my machines is I actually put a thermal sticker on the group head of everything, just to give me a little bit more consistency, especially with a machine like this that can fluctuate the extraction temperature quite a bit. So at this stage, we've got ourselves a working and slightly upgraded La Pavona Euro Piccola for $960. So under $1,000, you've got a really good machine, that retails for $13.75 without a couple of those little upgrades. So as you can see, there are a few things on this machine that aren't necessarily needed, but I would consider a want. So bottomless porter filter is an absolute no brainer. It gives you a lot more room to make coffee on the machine and it does give you a bit more consistency with your shots. And something like this is only $95. And then of course, a 20 gram basket that I've opted for, you can get this in most sizes, and these are about $40 if you want something of good quality like this, which is IMS. Now, of course, the biggest upgrade that we've done to this machine is the piston pressure kit, which is from Coffee Sensor. Now, this is $330 that you don't necessarily need to spend, but in my opinion, it does make your coffee much better. And then, of course, there's a couple of accessories that I would recommend, a dosing cup, now this guy is only $25 and it's an absolute no-brainer, a lot easier to make your coffee using this thing. And if you own a La Pavone, you will know that the tamp that these come with are horrible. Like most machines, so I'm not picking on La Pavone, but pick up yourself a proper tamper like this guy. You can do it in any way. Obviously I've got a custom little Mitch does one and these can go from about $99. So the machine now owes me in total with accessories, 1,550 Australian dollars which is a little bit over the top of the retail price. However, the machine definitely doesn't come with a pressure sensor kit, couple of accessories, and in my opinion, some great little upgrades that really bring this machine up to what I think it deserves. So if you're not too sure where to get these accessories and parts and upgrades, go down below, check your country of origin, and you'll be able to find a little bit of a reference as to where you might be able to buy these things. And if you own a La Pavone, let me know in the comments what you've done to your machine, what you think I should do to mine, because I'm pretty happy with it. But if you think there's something I can do to this machine that's really going to improve my espresso experience, let me know below. But for now, I'm gonna say thank you so much for watching. Have yourselves a great day and happy brewing. definitely makes a huge difference to being able to make your 58 millimeter. Now, if you own a La Pavone as well, let me know what upgrade, mic check, sound check, how we looking guys.